Join us as we delve into the heartfelt journey of Khloe Kardashian as she opens up about the unique challenge she faced in naming her son Tatum. From surrogacy struggles to the beauty of parenthood, Chloe shares her candid insights on the Sham podcast. Offering a glimpse into her personal journey, Tatum's a little different of a story Chloe Kardashian explains why she struggled naming her son Tatum. The Good American founder appears on the SNB podcast on May 7th, where she gets candid about her surrogacy journey with her and ex Tristan Thompson's son, whom they welcomed in 2022. The reality star reveals her little guy didn't have a name for months after he was born Tatum. So Tatum's a, a little different of a story I like. Unique names, but not off the wall names. I think our family has enough off the all names. I didn't want to have like just too much craziness. I actually didn't legally name Tatum. I think maybe for eight months, few months, I know it was a long time and I'm embarrassed to say that. But what did you call him at home? I would, would try different names at first, but none of them I liked. And then Tatum was, but we would always call him baby or like I call him Papa all the time. So like Papa was a lot uh, that I would use, but like that was tough for me. Coco admits that she had a different experience naming her daughter, opening up about her surrogacy experience with Tatum. It's interesting when I was, cause I wasn't carrying him. I didn't really feel anything like with True, I could feel things about her. Or like when I would pray at night, I would pray and we would have like our conversations and I don't know, I felt Char's spirit, the 39 year old, also shares this message to anyone else going through surrogacy. Noting it's okay to have struggles, I think comparison is definitely the thief of joy. Yeah, so I think anyone going through surrogacy, don't compare yourself to somebody else's journey. I think it is such 